what's up yo what's up yo um, real hood in here so last year i filmed a coachella car camping experience video it's my first year um i'll link it down below so you guys can check that out i was also blonde in that video <laughs> oh that's been a year lots changed new me <laughs> new hair. oh my god so last year i filmed a coachella car camping video um decided to do one this year because i did not car camp i decided to try something different a uh, hotel and a shuttle bus and i'm gonna tell you about my whole experience with that and the pros and cons of that versus car camping there's cons either way i mean car camping is a con in itself camping you girl don't camp hotel now i can get with that i can get with the hotel for sure completely different uh last year i packed one pair of shoes for the whole weekend um plus shower sandals lost those i have no idea where they are this year packed like six shoes because i knew i was going to be in a hotel and i was like <laughs> your girl's gonna pack whatever she wants <laughs> okay girl. thank god i overpacked because i ended up wearing so many more of my backup outfits than i did my actual planned outfits and yes, I did plan my outfits for Coachella because I stayed in the hotel this year and I said, maybe I'll look a little bit cuter. Maybe I will wear my hair down. Maybe I won't have the fun bun 24-7, even though threw that shit up real quick a lot of times. The pros of staying in a hotel as opposed to staying in a tent next to your car, aka car camping at Coachella. Um, staying in a hotel, you have air conditioning, you have heat, you have... Uh, your own bathroom, shower, uh, I stayed with my, like, two best friends that are getting married, and, uh, they got their own bed, your girl got her own bed, like, no one to share with, it's nice, air-conditioned room, um, you can, you don't have to wake up, because your neighbors are being loud, you can wake up on your own time, it's just like, you're in a hotel, you know, if you've ever been in a hotel, you know what it's like, you have a bed, you have aircon, you have shower, bathroom, mirrors, great. Um, we had a fridge, we left all our food in there, so we didn't have to worry about the cooler fiasco of last year. If you don't know that, I will <laughs> check out the video I posted last year. All of our shit got ruined. Um, this year, we brought our own food, our own alcohol. We had plenty of time to get ready. We could use curling irons and straighteners because we had plugs in a hotel, which you normally do. Hotel life. Biggest cons, though, was getting to Coachella and getting back home. Um, that's a whole thing in itself. So the first night, the first, okay, so we bought shuttle passes, right? So going to Coachella, uh, we just took Ubers, it was cheaper, and us three kind of get a little impatient and act a little bougie at times, and we'll be like, I'm not gonna wait for this damn shuttle, I'm gonna have to get Uber to go to the shuttle, and then shuttle to the, shuttle to the, shuttle to the shuttle. Shuttles. Got me stressed to think about it. The shuttle after Coachella, so the first night we didn't know, so but you had to maybe leave the festival a little early if you wanted to not be waiting in a line. So we were waiting in the shuttle line for a long time. Very long. Granted, not only was that shuttle line super long, ours was the last bus with the longest line to go we don't know why we're like why can't why are all these buses way shorter than our line ours is the longest line possible the shuttle itself okay so granted we take we spent like an hour in the line maybe more the shuttle our ride to our hotels were because i don't know homeboy on the bus was like taking a nap while he was sleeping and going five miles per hour and then drops us off at a hotel and we go oh hmm, not our hotel guess we gotta get another uber to our hotel and then that takes a little while so it's already like two and a half hours at this point trying to get home from coachella home our hotel uber ride like 10 eh, i'll say 15 minutes okay finally get home into our hotel best feeling ever after a long festival day is to relax in your aircon hotel that's another pro after the festival after all the bullshit of waiting and traveling um across the country to get to our hotel we get to lay in our nice beds. That's a great feeling. Next two days following, 
we were like, okay, we're going to leave the festival a little bit early just so we can skip that long ass line. Worked. Uh, we didn't have to wait in the line at all the second day. Either way, if you car camp or ho or you stay in a hotel, there's going to be a line that you will be waiting in. I don't know what I preferred. I don't know what I preferred. I mean, hotel has a lot of perks, a lot of like luxury and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't know about that shuttle ride. I don't know about it. I don't know about that line. I don't, but I don't know. I almost feel like car camping was a little bit more fun. But like we made more friends and we like, it was much more of an experience. Um, but I don't know. Like obviously staying in hotels way nicer, way better. But I think if you're going to do Coachella, I think you should car camp if you can stomach it. After Coachella, I kept saying, chilla. Like, everyone has to say it. Chilla. Like, I went to Coachella. I'm literally rambling. Rambalamba calico pajama. Gotta go.